parties, the dancing, hang with family, friends, and everything. One point, everything in my life was incredible. I felt invincible. Problems were still fixable as long as I was sensible, and everyone in my life was still very much reliable. I was at a high, not a cannabis high, but a mental high, when I still looked to the brighter side, and I just enjoyed the ride. But this high was only for a moment, because from the top, we soon went down, around, upside down, and my life was, my life was messed up. Because when we first got that call that my brother had been arrested, we were all sitting at home rested. Just remember my mom's crying, dad's yelling, everyone's stressing. And I was still too young to fully comprehend that when that call came in, that was the end. That was the last time I saw my brother, my best friend. They would never tell me why, and even to today, I still don't know if my brother's alive. So I still cry. Cry because I really miss him. And even though what happened, it, it just broke me within every day. I wish it just one more time if I could see him again. And it doesn't stop there, because as the years go in, my mom and dad, they're still fighting and fussing, still not telling me nothing. My dad decided to pick up and leave, and he took everything. Not just everything materially, but he took everything emotionally from me. I thought we were close. Because we'd sit, we'd play, we'd laugh, we'd talk. I guess we weren't that close unless you just picked up and walked. He never called, he never wrote, he never dialed, we never spoke. He was just gone. And this time, I didn't cry. I couldn't. Because he left at a time when I needed him the most. Those teenage years were the worst. And it still hurts. Those bumps and falls as I fell head first. As my life continued to go down and around and upside down. By the time I was 25, I, I made it up in my mind that I was tired of living on this endless cycle. I needed to get off that ride and take some kind of control of my life. That's when I, I learned about Jehovah God in heaven. And I learned about Jesus Christ, his son. And I learned about the ransom and the kingdom that we pray for to come. See, what I learned helped me to reason that this life is not all there is and there's still better things to come. But I needed to be the one. I needed to be the one to follow after the sun and take off that burden that life put on. I needed to be the one. Wanting a better life, not just for myself, but to be a better dad for my kids, to be a better husband for my wife. I needed to be the one. So instead of allowing my life to continue to go down and around and upside down, I learned how to put my both feet on the ground. And even though what happened, it, it still hurts inside. I learned how to take steps forward with my head held high. Because now, I'm no longer a victim of that crazy roller coaster ride. I've tossed past pains aside, and I stride forward with pride. Thank you.